Hi, everyone, and welcome to Econ 2302. This is Principles of Microeconomics, and my name is Dr. Bayanpur Tarani. I am the instructor of the course. I'm a full-time faculty here at Lone Star College Sci-Fair, and I've been teaching here for 10 years now. Um, welcome, and I'm looking forward to working with every single one of you um, this summer uh, class. I just wanted to make this video to kind of show you how you can navigate around D12, and especially if this is your first time. So D12 is a platform that we use in Lone Star, um, and all of us should have an access to D12 uh, with your Lone Star email and also password. Um, you should be able to log into class and basically get all the information that you uh, need for this course. So I already posted my very first announcement on the basically the page, our first page here um, on D12. So you can see the important things that you need basically to start um, for this class. And I tried to put everything here in terms of where you can find, let's say, lecture notes, where you can find um, textbook and things like that. And I will go over actually all of them, but please take your time and read this announcement and also the very first thing that I want you guys to do is to read this love for the course where um, you can find right here, which you can find right here content tab it is under the syllabus um, folder um, so you can basically download the syllabus I didn't post it any I didn't post it yet but I'm done and I'm gonna just post it right after actually recording this video uh, by the time that you log in and you are here, you should be able to see that. Uh, when you are done reading the syllabus, um, where explain, which explains all the information about the class, all the policies that we have in this class, I want you to go to the student memorandum agreement um, folder here, uh, which is again under the content tab. You can pretty much find everything under the content tab in this class, except for discussions, which I will explain. And then I want you to um, click on this student memorandum form and then write your name, sign it. By signing and writing your name here, you are basically telling me that you understood the syllabus, you do not have any question about the syllabus, and you are aware of all the policies that we do have in this class. When you are done signing that, I want you to go to the course activities tab. You can, of course, pause this video uh, I also explain everything on the syllabus, so you don't have to even come back to the video and go to the assignment. And there is one Dropbox here um, for you where you can go and upload your signed student memorandum form. And I want you to do it by June 10th. Okay, so that is the very first thing that I want you guys to do. Read the syllabus. Let me know if you have any question. And if you don't, um, please go ahead and upload your signed student memorandum form here in this Dropbox. Now let me show you where you can find everything um, in our class. As I mentioned, everything is under the content tab. And if you go to the content tab, you should be able to see the weekly modules that I created for you. For instance, if you go to week one, um, you can find um, the lecture notes for the first two chapters that we're going to cover in the first week, chapter one and two. And you, these are the lecture notes um, that I put here. The lecture notes are summaries of the textbook. So I highly recommend you guys to read the textbooks, our textbook besides these notes that I post here, because you can always learn more by reading the textbook. And I will show you where you can find also the textbook. Um, in here, you can also find some helpful videos that I posted for you here. Um, there are some videos that I recorded, and there are also some videos that I found on YouTube. And the videos that I posted, there are two different types. There are some videos like this one, chapter one by your instructor, which are long. And this is where I talk over basically um, the lecture notes that you um, you can see under the content tab. And there are also other types of videos where um, they are shorter and I just talk about um, like one specific um, topic, okay? Let me go back to my, um, to my, where can I go back? 
okay, um, right here, where um, I basically talk about a specific topic like this one PPC here, okay, or uh, circular flow assumptions, okay. So you can find the lecture notes as well as the videos that you need under the content tab for every single week. So um, again, for week one, go to module one, it will tell you what you should study, what you should watch and things like that. Um, before I talk about the textbook, we let me show you also discussion. So as I mentioned, everything under is under the content tab, except for our discussion. So discussions can be found on the collaboration tab. And then from here, you go to discussion. There are three discussions for this class um, because this is just a six week class. So, um, and I tried actually to put all the deadlines like um, earlier in the semester. So you'll be done with discussions and you can just focus on the final and wrapping up the, the, the summer session. So for the discussions, please, please read the instruction that I put here for you before you write your special first discussion for the second and third one, you know uh, the drill. Um, so for um, each discussion, I basically ask a specific question and you are going to answer those questions. By answering those questions, you are going to get 50 points, of course, depending on the, the answer, how um, I will explain the requirements for your post. I do read the discussions, I do grade them, and um, for like things like discussion two, your calculations um, should be correct, okay? Um, so when you answer the question, remember that unless the discussion tells you like the last discussion that there is no requirement in terms of the word count, there is a requirement for you that your post should be at least 200 words. And, um, and of course, depending on how you are answering the questions, you can get up to 50 points, okay? You have to start writing the discussion to be able to see other classmates' um, answers to the question, okay? That's 50 point on your part. And also another 50 point is coming from your feedback for your friends in class. You have to, whenever you are done, I opened the discussions as you can see here on the first day of class, you have an access to all the three discussions. So you can go ahead and uh, post your answers, of course, if you know them, but of course we're going step by step. So probably you cannot answer uh, discussion two when um, the first day because discussion two is from chapter six. Um, but anyhow, I opened them so um, you can at least take a look at them if you want. Uh, but make sure that you go back to the discussion because another 50 point is coming from your feedbacks for friends. So you have to leave at least two feedback for your friends in class. And those feedbacks should not be less than 100 words. If you do that, then you will get another 50 point, okay? And please try to avoid saying, oh, I love your discussion. Oh, I agree with you. Why you love your friend's discussion, why you agree with them, okay? So try to elaborate on your answers. Um, so we have a total of three discussions for this class. And in my um, weekly announcement, announcements, I try to highlight the deadline so you would not miss them. But another way that you can also track down all the, all the deadlines is by going to the calendar that we have on our very first page um, in our B12. So there is a little calendar here which tells you that discussion one will be available on June 3rd. And then let's say for discussion two, the same thing your homework number one, homework number two, and then your availability to discussion one ends on June 10th. So you can also track down your assignments here by going to the little calendar that we have on our B12. So that's for discussions. Now let's see where we can find homework, exams, and also our textbook. You should go again to the content tab and go to McGraw-Hill folder here. McGraw-Hill is the name of our publisher for our textbook. If you go to the McGraw-Hill folder, you can see all the assignments, midterm exam, and also final exam. I will, of course, explain more about midterm and final in a second. The easiest way that you can get the book, as I also explained it on the syllabus, is to go to homework number one, click on that, it will take you basically to our um, 
publisher software, which is called Connect Plus. Many of us in Lone Star, we use Connect Plus, especially if you are a business major, um, you might be familiar with Connect Plus, but it's very similar to Math Lab, Chemistry Lab um, by Pearson that many, again, my colleagues um, use. Um, they are very, all these softwares are very, very um, user-friendly. And yes, you have to buy them, sorry. Um, you can, you have a 14 days um, free access to connect, but after 14 days, you have to buy. Otherwise, you won't be able to finish this class. So I'm telling you from the beginning. Uh, you, you press, uh, you click on launch assignments. Of course, since I do have an account, mine will be different from yours. Uh, but it will take me to Connect Plus. If this is your very first time, basically here, then you have to set up your account. It's very, very easy. You should just follow the steps. Um, you use a username. Please put your Lone Star email address and choose your uh, password. Then you basically have an account on Connect. Um, as I mentioned, you can use it for free for 14 days, but after that, you have to purchase your access code for, for Connect. And if you do not, again, you won't be able to take the test. You won't be able to finish um, the assignment. Um, you have one week for each homework to complete. No, I will not extend the deadline. Please, please do not email me about that. Um, you have one week. All the deadlines are always on a Monday. Easy to remember. Again, I showed you the calendar. So there's no excuse for you to miss the homework. And you have one entire week that the homework are not timed. So you can save them, come back to them finish them, there will be maximum of 20 questions for each homework. So easy peasy, uh, just don't miss the deadline. I will not give you extension. Please don't ask me. My answer will be no. I will drop the lowest homework grade at the end of the semester when I'm calculating your grade and you have one week. So that's why I do not give you extension for that. Sorry. So just try to be on time. Um, for... We might have more than one homework um, every week because again, this is a six week class. So we do cover more than one chapter sometimes, except probably last week, uh, we cover two chapters every week. So just um, be aware of that. So sometimes you have two homework to complete for each week. Um, just again, follow the um, announcements <clears throat> and also the calendar we have. Um, the midterm exam and final exam, as you can see, they are proctored, both midterm and final. Final, by the way, is cumulative, so you should start reviewing everything from the beginning when it comes to the final, but the majority of questions will be from new chapters. For the midterm exam, um, you are going to study chapter one, two, three, four, and six. For those of you who took macroeconomics here with us at Lone Star College SciFair, uh, you will find, since we use the same textbook, same authors, um, you will see that the first four chapters that we cover are exactly the same as your macro class. So just be patient and look at it as a review. Our very first micro topics so starts from chapter six. And chapter six is part of your midterm exam. So you study um, chapter one, two, three, four, and six. And um, I posted also practice questions for both midterm exam and final in the weekly modules. So I highly recommend you guys to review those practice questions, review lecture notes, review homework uh, when you are getting ready and definitely read the textbook. I cannot tell you enough that how important it is to read the textbook. Um, and then you are ready to take the midterm exam and final. These two tests are proctored. What does it mean? It means that there's a lockdown browser um, on the test, so you won't be able to open another browser. You um, need a webcam to take the midterm exam and final. If you do not have a webcam, you can always uh, check out a laptop from our OTS. They are located in the tech building, and as long as you are our student, you are eligible to uh, check out a laptop. So I do not accept this excuse that I do not have a webcam or my laptop doesn't have a webcam. Um, you can um, use our resources. Um, you can always take to our, come to our campus and take your tests on campus in the library or in one of our open labs on campus, especially if you have a problem with the internet. So again, no excuse for like not having the best technology. 
Um, the tests are timed, so um, pay attention to time. For both midterm and final exam, you can have one to two pages of notes. Just show them to the webcam and uh, you can start the test, okay? And let me tell you something about this proctor test because sometimes the students freak out when I say proctored. So I'm not watching you while you're taking the test, but the test will be recorded. And yes, I do go back and watch those videos. But at the time of the test, just be yourself, just chill, be chill. Um, I will get red flags if you are doing something wrong, of course, in front of the camera, if the light is too bad, if your face is not visible, if there are too many voices in the room, if, um, I don't know, um, things like that. Um, so just take your test in a quiet place whenever you are ready. Make sure that your face is visible. I know that sometimes we cover our webcams because of, I don't know, hacking things or whatnot make sure that you remove the cover have a good lighting when you are taking the test and you should be fine okay um let me think if there is anything else about exams i think i kind of pretty much covered everything one last recommendation about exams do not wait till last minute um they are always due at 11 30 or 11 45 um, in the evening um, if you do have any problem at that time I won't be able to help you connect team won't be able to help you I'm sleeping I have two kids so I am not awake no when you send me an email at midnight I'm not awake okay um, so try to take the test I know again that you guys study hard and you want to take it last minute because you want to take um, your time getting ready for the test and prepping. But also be mindful that this is technology. And if you need help with that, you should take it at a time that somebody is available to help you. If you do have any technical issues, I highly recommend you guys to contact Connect. If there is a technology issue, I won't be able to help you. If there is something, however that I can help, again, if it's within normal hours, I will definitely help you, okay? But if there is a technology issue, I'm not the, the right person to help you. So my recommendation is that please take it before midnight uh, on the time that it's due, okay, on the, on the day that it's due. Um. That's pretty much, I think I covered everything about the exam. Of course, I will send you reminders about tests, so you will miss it. And as you can see here for the midterm exam, you do have few days to take midterm and final. And even for final, you do have more time. Um, so um, just try to um, take them on time, okay? Um, let me go back to my announcement. I pretty much just I want to make sure that I covered everything. I pretty much explained everything that I also put here for you. Um, I will also recommend you guys to um to um to use your Lone Star email when you contact me. Uh, because of this spamming system that we have in Lone Star, if you use your Gmail and you send me an email to my Lone Star email, I won't get it. Um, by the way, all of us at Lone Star, we do have two email addresses. Um, you can use your D2L email, which is right here at top of the page. Um, this icon here is for the email. So you can definitely, um, utilize this one. Well, we all have also Lone Star email addresses. Um, so for the weekends, the time, the, the period that we do have our tests, and of course we have 4th of July holiday. Um, so during these times, I highly recommend you guys to contact my Lone Star email. Uh, it is on the syllabus. I know my last name is pretty long, but as you can see, when I write my email, I go with only, and of course, if you also read the syllabus, um, I go with um, kind of shorter version of my last name, Bayanpur. Uh, but of course, my email address is is kind of long. Um, 
is my first name dot and then my last name at Lone Star um, dot edu. So um, definitely contact my Lone Star email with your name and your course information. So this is micro five zero zero seven. Uh, if your email doesn't have the course information, I will not answer your email because I am teaching four classes during summertime. So um, it is hard for me to go back and find you in my rosters, okay? So I'm just as straightforward with you. I will not respond if you don't put your course information, okay? Um, so during exam time, holidays, weekends, I have my Lone Star um, email on my phone. So it would be faster and easier for me to respond. Um, I do check my D12, but probably once a day, not more than that. Um, so if there's anything urgent that you want to contact me, send it to my Lone Star email. And again, use your own Lone Star email. Okay, that will be the easiest way for me to respond. Um, I think I covered pretty much everything that I wanted to mention. Um, I will not arrange, by the way, early exam or... Um, or makeup exam. So please be on time um, for taking your tests. And of course, my experience for summer classes, they always mention that in my um, videos or at least in my emails or whatnot to my students that my experience is that the students that take classes during summer, they're very, very successful because you are basically um, spending your um, vacation time on taking courses and getting ahead of yourself, right? So you do have a goal. So I know that my um, summer students are really, really good. Um, they work really, really hard. And when I look at even your my students' grades at the end, they do pretty well during summertime, okay? So I'm pretty sure it will be also the same thing for you um, just get ready. It's just six weeks. Um, you can do it. Other students did it. So you, so you will do it too. Okay. Just try to study, get ready to practice. Um, in microeconomics, we are focused on the economy of businesses, individuals, and firms. For those of you who took macro, you probably remember that macroeconomics is all about consumers um consumers um sorry i was distracted with my phone uh in macroeconomics we're focused on uh countries economy nations economy um things like that um so we do cover uh, topics like gdp fiscal policy monetary policy money and banking uh, economic growth, um, those are all macro topics, okay? So do not expect to learn about inflation and unemployment rate in this class because our focus is on businesses and firms. So especially if you want to have your own business in the future, this is a great class actually for you because we do talk about different markets in microeconomics and we will see that how businesses can maximize their profit in these markets. Unfortunately, we are not going to cover all those four markets, um, but we are focused on uh, two of them, and we will talk about profit maximization in two specific markets in um, in microeconomics. But we do talk about the characteristics of the two other markets. Um, so I just wanted to also give you kind of an, an overview about uh, the topics that we're going to cover in our class. Um, I hope that... Um, that you settle down quickly in this class. Let me know if you have any question. I am here to help you. Um, and again, welcome to this um, online class. And I'm looking forward to work with to work with to working with um, every single one of you. Take care and um, enjoy also your summertime. In the meanwhile, okay. Take care. Bye bye.